Well, players already in already in Europe being linked to the Premier League. On Maxi Gomez, I think he's not going to stay at Betis. And with that bull-like strength, I think uh, the Premier League is a would be a good fit for for him. Um, so he's he's one to uh, uh, to look out for. Uh, Lo Celso as well. We, we we mentioned earlier on. Um, Venezuela have a terrific young goalkeeper called uh, Wilke Farinha. He's only 21. Uh, it, it amazes me that he's not in Europe already. He plays in Colombia with Millonarios. Now, he's on the short side for a goalkeeper, but so was Casillas, who won so many titles with Real Madrid. Have a look for Farinha's in the, in, in the Copa. Top-class goalkeeper. And uh, I, I think he's, uh, he's, got a, he's only 21, but he's been Venezuela's first-choice goalkeeper now for more than two years. So he's already got considerable... He's so flexible. Um, a, a wonderful, wonderful young goalkeeper, I think. They're one of the best young keepers... Um, in the world. Valverde of, of Uruguay missed the World Cup through injury, but he was the first of these young Lions, the first of these new midfielders to come in at Real Madrid. Another player to, uh, um, to look, look out for. And uh, well, this is one of the great things about the Copa America. Now, it's a showcase for Messi, Suarez, Felipe Coutinho. Felipe Coutinho really needs a big tournament, I think, for, for Brazil to re-establish his career. So it's, it's a showpiece occasion for these great stars. James Rodriguez, back to the scene of his uh, big triumph five years ago. But also, it's going to be a, a, a platform for some less-known players, slightly less-known less known players, to really make a name for themselves. And, uh, and people like Lo Celso and Duvan Zapata, Wilka Farinez, uh, I think they're very much fit in, fit in that category. Maybe uh, Colombia's defensive midfielder, uh, Wilma Barrios, um, surprised that and he, was, he was being linked with Premier League clubs a year ago. He ended up um, moving to Russia with Zenit St. Petersburg. But he reminds me a lot of a young Javier Mascherano, the fellow you'd much rather have on your, t- on a, on your side than, 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 than against you. So that, that's another name to look out for, and you could see him uh, um, doing, doing very well for himself in the Premier League in the future.